Didn't Tumblr sell out for an app on iPhone that no one's ever going to use? Unfortunately, uh, yes. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Master Code. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I would it's know. Like, I, no, it's like it's really. I. It's just hilarious that Tumblr was like, okay, our option is like our good is like our our good reputation with all of the people that like you is like in the respect our user base has for us and stuff like that we can keep that or we can have an iphone app that no one's ever going to use because they already have tumblr Mm. And the only way for them to actually you be able to get this chance Wait a to do minute, this did I just Google search? Um the only way what's, up? what's up, Golden? Sorry. Hang on a second. I was gonna add by saying, and the only way for them to be able to successfully do this particular Oh app son of a bitch! <laughs> I forgot to change the name on my Twitch when I was playing. Now it's all under F Zero. God damn it! Wait, what? Okay. okay, all the clips of Metal Slug are under F Zero because I forgot to change the title. Oh, no. No. <laughs> and I can't change it either. Oh. Oh no! Not again! I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting for an F Zero game on the Switch. To I'm waiting honest, for Gold Twitch to like allow us to update like. Or any mistake that we have on whatever clips that are made. I'm still, <laughs> I, mean, I wouldn't worry about it too much because like all the people who watch your streams pretty much know you well enough to know that you're not a clickbaiter at this point. Yeah. I'm somebody who likes to keep things organized. <laughs> okay, but it's like you're allowed to like <laughs> make Morpheus mistakes clip something. sometimes. Is like, I'm not sure. It's like, I know a lot of people feel that way about not wanting to make mistakes, but at the end of the day, you're not a machine. You're a human with a soul, and sometimes your imperfections are the best parts of you because they show that you're human. Yep. Island Blaze is following me on Twitter. Besides, if you were perfect all the time, it would kind of be boring because then we wouldn't have beautiful moments like that one time with that one um, Castlevania game. <laughs> <sighs> Sometimes true perfection is found within the flaws. Indeed. Welcome to Castlevania! Ooh, yeah! You know, it takes a lump of coal to make a diamond. Sometimes, you know? Because diamonds are yeah. forever, as the world is not enough. Or we need a was... skyfall at, at the Casino Royale. I was, I was actually wow. trying to... I was actually trying to make an allegory for sometimes how, like, the best part of you is your imperfections and your quirks and the things that, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Or in the best way to put it through, thanks to Steven Universe, if every pork chop was perfect. Mania. No, Castlevania. Fucking, my <laughs> accent's fucking with me. Sometimes my M's and V's sound the same. I was trying to say, I was trying to add some. And basically, to put it, Golden, if ever poor chop were perfect, we wouldn't have hot dogs. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that is that... why are you laughing? <laughs> why are you laughing? I don't get it. Oh, that was great. They got a that great was so shape. Out... It's great. That was so out of place. Because I, I think I, I think. No, it's like, I think my brain blanked for a moment and you were just like, if pork chops were always perfect, we wouldn't have hot dogs. I'm just like, where the fuck did this conversation go? No! <laughs> it's, like that. It's, just, <laughs> it's like that moment from the happening. Hot dogs are great. they got a great shape. They're nutritious for you. <laughs> well, it depends uh, on the type of hot dog in terms of, new fruit, in, in, terms of, in terms of nutritional value. Okay. Logic, I'm sorry that your mind went blank right there. <laughs> okay. I assume what you were doing was making another allegory for the one I made, though, because you mentioned perfection. Yes, because that's pretty much the same case, because this is from Steven Universe. Don't that mentions this to his son about perfection. Because and this is like a little catchphrase he always says: "If every pork chop were perfect, we wouldn't have hot dogs." Huh. 
And they actually explain what that really is supposed to mean in the season five finale, close to the end of the. Um, well, um, it's just an allegory for how if everything was perfect, life would be boring. Yes. Basically, if you wipe away any kind of flaw, you'll miss what makes the, all the good and all the people who are flawed perfect as so their self. So you're using Steven Universe to explain an allegory that you and I successfully explained three times over. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I'm not wrong, though. I'm still saying it. Shut up. You're, Stop you're, poking you're, fun you're, at me. You're, Stop I'm not poking, poking fun at me. I'm not poking fun at you, though. I'm just merely making a point. There's a there's a dark opinion I want to say right now, but I think I think okay. This is a golden fox stream. It doesn't matter what Kiefer, you said. I said cunt Kiefer three times this I, stream. Keyframe will kill me if I say this, but dude, I oh. said cunt three times in this stream. You can say whatever the fuck you want to say, so long as it's not racist or sexist or. All right. Philly. All right. What? The Beatles White Album. Sucks. <laughs> um. Okay. The, okay. I I, I imagine also... I imagine that's supposed to be hurting my soul, but it's really not. Uh, so okay, like, I like the Beatles. I, I like the Beatles. I love them. I love them with the uh, with all my. Okay. All my a lot of but, people like the Beatles. But the pro. But the but the the time when they started making like, but the time when they were kind of kind of declining was the White Album and. Some of their songs are so annoying <laughs> to listen to. Okay. You mean like um, number nine? Uh, yeah, number nine was <laughs> it was weird. Um, okay. Yeah. The, um, the revolution I mean... one. The oh yeah, the first take of the revolution song. Yeah, it bore. Yeah, it's so it's so annoying. It's so boring to listen to. Just listen to the single version. Yeah, EG. Uh, what? What you're doing right now is expressing an opinion, and there's nothing inherently scathing about airing an opinion unless you have someone who delete who is a contrarian and is like against you all the time with your opinion for the sake of doing so so yeah, nothing you said like... is nothing you said is really as dark as you thought it was in fact <laughs> nothing you said like... was really dark at all so um what i just am <laughs> trying my best to like avoid like the try hard fans of the beatles because like everyone knows that the beatles is like the uh, Everyone expects the Beatles being like the best musicians of all time. Like they're they're, they're the definitely one of the most influential bands, but I yeah. wouldn't say the best. Yeah, yeah. Like but, there's no such thing as the best. Like it, it, everyone, like everyone on the on the top ten, one hundred best musicians are all the best. But I'm still yep. trying to figure out what part of your opinion is dark. <laughs> I, <don't laughs> I was exaggerating. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's not an exaggeration. That's a classification of a topic. <laughs> by saying dark, what, by saying dark, what you mean is there's going to be something inherently morbid about what you're saying, and all you've said is you don't like music. Mm. Uh... You're living within your name, aren't you, man? My name is ironic. <laughs> And therefore, you're using it unironically. <laughs> my name is Emma Gomatoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Prepare to die. I love well, that movie. Like, all, all I'm saying is, if is like, all I'm saying is, if your like anecdote or sentence or whatever it is begins with the sentence is like, I have a pretty dark something or other. If it contains the word dark at the beginning, I'm going to expect something like a suicide joke or a school <laughs> shooting joke or that whole Logan Paul suicide forest thing in the form of a joke. Even oh, though God, that God. No, 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 no. I would what never I, it's like, I would what never I don't, no. shit like that in the stream. What I don't expect is A, the Beatles, B, an album by the Beatles, or C, an opinion on an album by the Beatles. Oh my God. You know, it's like if you it's like if you were gonna tell me something dark about the Beatles, you could have made a joke about the fact that most of them are dead. Dude, for fuck's sake! You know, considering Look, I'm trying... okay, um, sorry, go on. 
Go I on. just I just wanted to point out that when uh, you know uh, EG said hyperbolically speaking that having a different opinion, he said it was going to be dark. There's only one image that kind of defines it all. I'm going to link it in the stream chat. The stream chat. What the, the freaking heck is that? What's the stream chat? <laughs> I said stream chat, fuckhead. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead what? and look it in here. <laughs> what the freaking heck is that? Oh, it's oh, it's that meme against that uh, triggered bit, that triggered SJW bitch. <laughs> oh yay, we've come full circle. <laughs> kill it! Kill it with fire! Kill it with fire! Kill that image with fire! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Or worse, <laughs> an opinion. Kill, kill that image with fire. Kill it, Fucking, kill it, kill it. You know what I can't wait for? I can't wait. It's like I can't wait for a movie where the main character starts off in prison and then he's asked for what he's in for, and he can unironically say, "I had an opinion." <laughs> because you know that's where it's like you know that's where this cesspool we call life is going. Oh my god. <laughs> Actually, yeah, funny like... thing, a friend is like Wolfhead Brony, someone you guys probably all know. He's a pretty funny guy. Yeah. He tried to get he tried to get me into an anime, and the premise of the anime is basically what would be what the world would be like if social justice warriors and soccer moms and all those other people who want to stop other people from having fun for no real reason win. Because in this world, everyone is monitored. They have these weird freaking neck collars and wristband things. No one's oh! allowed to. No one's allowed to do anything, even inherently vaguely provocative or whatever the term is. And if you even think about thinking about thinking about doing something slightly NSFW, you're swatted. And I know the, what you're talking like, about. It's like I couldn't get into the anime because it's just like this is kind of the world I live in already because. Every corner I turn, there's some random bitch screaming rape in the direction of the nearest SJW and pointing in the direction of Vic Mignogna. And it's just like, I already live in a world where SJWs have the most leverage, can basically erase you by waiting for insert random person here. It's the reason I can't empathize with quote-unquote victims anymore, which upsets me, because I know for a fact that one day I'm going to see an actual victim of an actual crime, and I'm going to try my best to feel something, but all I'm ever going to remember is all those special snowflakes and their 10 years later stories that yeah. are just using hashtag me too for attention seeking, spitting in the uh -huh. face of actual victims who have actually suffered, which... Strangely enough, pisses me off. You know, <laughs> you know, there's actually one thing that you know I could just you know based on what you're saying that you know having those little collars that have cameras on it. It's like you do anything on there, and it's like. Oh no! Yeah. It... Like I guess you could call it the prologue scene. It's literally a group of people who have smuggled a stash of dojins. Let's call them dojins. Yes. And, like, they set off their collars by saying specific trigger words related to NSFW things and are immediately <laughs> swatted by a SWAT team that was already on its way, by the way. Yeah. And then you, and then you get that one stereotype freaking law enforcement character that's the straight arrow freaking talks triumphant. A discount All Might, okay? A discount SJW anti-porn, anti-human rights All Might. Yes. I know the, the enemy you're talking about, Logic, and what's this, and what makes it worse, this the it leads to having one example of a character who has the worst case of notice me senpai personality. The moment it would click. Also, I just want to say the main male character. I hate him already because it's going to be one of those stories where he believes in this SJW-driven cesspool of a world he lives in until he's shown the light by the actual good character who's relegated to side character because she's a woman. Because you know, an anime has to keep up the fact that it's anime. But what's also, funny about if you don't, it's like if you don't believe me about that statement, in no, I do. Is like in My Hero Academia during the tournament arc. If a woman wins in a battle in the tournament arc, they're going to get one shotted in the very next match they appear in. Perfect example of this the woman who creates things using the 
what are they called in our body? The, the like lipids or something? She can take, Parts. huh? Uh, uh, weren't they were weren't there like uh, abilities in My Hero Academia called quirks? No, the the quirk that she has is what I'm oh. talking about specifically. The okay. the quirk that she has is that she can take the biomass of anything she consumes and build whatever she wants from out of her body so she can make a shield on her wrist or stuff like that and fucking she goes up against this one guy now a vet a thing that it makes a point to tell you about this guy is that his powers are weaker in the sun and it might as well be midday during this part of the tournament arc he immediately defeats her by knocking her out of the ring when she uses a shield to stop his magical crow attack that should be weak due to the sun. Because they literally explain it in the same tournament arc, but again, she's a woman and it's an anime. Yeah, not a lot of women in anime get the same amount of respect. It's sad. And fucking a lot of people will agree that in the My Hero Academia tournament arc that either... Fucking either Deku or Todoroki should have won, <laughs> but then they let Baku go win. Now, in my personal oh. opinion, it should have ended with Deku versus Uraraka. Because then it would nice. be like, oh shit, they now have. Like, <laughs> I didn't even try it, anything. Sorry, go ahead. It's like, it like, then it would be like, oh shit, Midoriya and Uraraka are going to fight. And it's just like, they're pretty much the OTP besties of the series and it's like now they both have to fight one of them is driven by their desire to help their family through financial strife and the other is Deku the main protagonist so it's just like oh shit because he'll be faced with the conflict of could he really beat Uraraka knowing that what she's in this for but no we have to have Bakugo versus Todoroki and Todoroki deserved to win but Bakugo won because I have no idea. He's literally a <laughs> rabid dog. He's literally a rabid dog on nitroglycerin steroids that doesn't deserve any of the power that he has. He's the closest thing you could get to an edge lord without having black hair or a black outfit or cutting himself. <clears throat> and his only quirk beyond his actual superpower is I don't like Deku because he offered me a hand at some point. Uh, I'm I'm sorry. I, I I have to do this song, and it's probably too fitting for this uh, song. Magical star, magical star, flash luggage, crow guys called Tokyo. Yeah. I wasn't trying to remember his name. I was making a point. But thank you. Tokyo Army is the crow guy who immediately defeated the other guy. Okay. And Kachan the... gets better in the third season. He probably does. Okay. But... The part where you're talking about him close being the Edge Lord, but without adding extra obvious I'm sorry for those who are listening right now crawling in my skin oh my god <laughs> get out get out get out I've, I was making a joke I'm sorry he said edgelord excuse me actually, he said on the Josh is actually on the topic of my hero academia I just want to do a quick fire thing with freaking hypothetical quirks <laughs> that some of us could have. For example, I think of Golden Fox's, like, Phoenix chick that he has going on, and I think to myself, he is, like, his oh, quirk would, is, like, if Golden Fox had a quirk, he'd be able to turn his body into ashes and then move around like dude, Reaper from Overwatch. Dude, you were And that would be out pretty of, cool. Dude, you were cutting out of it, you sound like you said Phoenix dick. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. He did. He did. <laughs> I wanted to see how long. I didn't say anything because I wanted to see how far we, we would go before someone said it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Okay, so. Shtick, as in, you know, the, the thing that they do, the gimmick, I guess you could say. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I gotcha. So, yeah. If Gold Blaze Phoenix had a quirk, it would be turning into ashes like in Reaper from Overwatch. And, I don't know, choking his enemies with his ash body. Or something and setting things on fire. I don't know. Crazy. Jesse's would be luck. Just luck. <laughs> <laughs> Why luck? Because, because luck is that's... genre. Yeah. I can't unless, have got unless, neutral luck. I... Unless unless there's a well, that's why it's a quirk. <laughs> I'm giving you all hypothetical superpowers. Okay, okay, calm down. I get it. I get it. 
Yeah. Master Co Master Code would be elite hacker. He would I be like the that. girl. He would be like the girl who has the USB sticks on her ears that can just do stuff by plugging her ears into things. Oh, I don't yeah. know what. I don't know anything about EG Studios, so I couldn't I come up with a work with him. I would be a wider bender. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Snickerman asks what his would be, and I had an interesting idea. I feel like if Snickerman was a character in My Hero, his quirk would be the ability to change his density and mass to make himself heavier or lighter Ooh. at will. Mm. I could see that. That'd be cool. Yeah. Nice. And honestly, just because I like the idea, I'd like to have the ability to manipulate all forms of matter so I can just take a bunch of stone from a wall or a floor and then make myself a suit of armor out of it. Or just make a really big stone fist and punch someone in the face. Ow. 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 <laughs> oh yeah, since you mentioned that you don't like Bakugo, I don't even like his his hero his hero outfit. Grenades on your giant ass grenades on your hands. The fuck? Well uh... that that well, his his quirk is sweating I know it... nitroglycerin from his hand. Yeah, I know his uh quirks are combustions, but but his it, but his um costume design is like super like okay attention I, I have to dis I have to disagree with you there because I do like the grenade hands I like the <laughs> grenade hands and like yeah. I like the way he's designed not so much his character and how it's presented <laughs> in the show he's an asshole <laughs> there's like Jesse said that's he the gets clip better that's for you in, there's like some I think it was Jesse or magical somebody said that was that, magical. Yeah, Not Magical me. Magical said that Bakugo gets better in third season, and I guess I'm kind of looking forward to that, maybe. Because, you know, like I said, he's well-designed, just not very well-portrayed. Oh, wait. Um, yeah, my quirk would, uh, would not just be water, but uh, sometimes with a fusion of, uh, of, of air. Hmm. Yeah. Well, if you can... If you hang on, if you can control air, then you can just use the air you control to lift water and then control the water. And also, since air is made up of oxygen and other things, and water also has like oxygen it. in it, why not just make your quirk manipulation of oxygen molecule? Yeah, somewhere like that. Then yeah. you could control air, water, and ice. Mm -hmm. And electricity. Ooh. You could be also, Embra you would also. Sorry. You would pretty much be able to control anything that like had oxygen as an ingredient even fire so just yes. make your quirk oxygen manipulate oh yeah the uh, reason plus why that you can like, be able also that makes more sense in the context of the world my hero academia exists in because all of the quirks are grounded in a small amount of reality in the they're based on a real world fundamental that could be exploited with this particular ability like if someone had this like weird psychic control over oxygen molecules and could manipulate them, then they could theoretically mess around with air and water and fire and oh. electricity and other stuff. Okay, I just got a dark thought in my head about that idea. Well, get her out of there, damn. This ain't TikTok. Okay, okay um, if he had yeah, the capability lost. of use of controlling air. That would mean he can literally kill people Ugh. by doing that. Because he can literally suck the air out of our bodies. Why did you emphasize suck so much? It's like that one meme where the guy's just like, suck. And his voice Shut is up. augmented so that it echoes. Shut it! You know, don't make it a... Don't ruin the thought, god damn it! No, like when you said that, Jesse, it just reminded me of that clip from Korra where that one airbender pulled the, all of the air out of uh, that one ruler's um, mouth and suffocated right? her. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking of something similar to the last scene because that was like very terrifying to think about. It's like, oh god, because the body has to, you, the lungs keep a bit of air in our body without a any form of oxygen in our body we would literally collapse our lungs would literally collapse yeah. and our blood system would not work our all our organs would go through a complete shutdown that is like a complete terrifying thought there's also, like a darkness Ara to that power Sorry. also Ara dragon i don't know who they're talking about but they're saying something about the way someone says water 
And if they're talking about me, I'm British, so it's really not as funny as you think it is. Blood all I, is like all I'll say is that you're really easily impressed. And bloodbending that would also qualify as a form of mixture what water is, but it also would qualify with relating to air because okay. uh, because the oxygen travels through our blood system. So if we had the capability of controlling the blood through the elements of air, that so what we're saying is powerful. oxygen manipulation makes you a god. Cool, good job. <laughs> That's I don't want to be a god. <laughs> actually, actually, now that we think that, I think about it. Since oxygen is ever present on Earth, everything that exists on Earth has oxygen on or in it. Yeah. So, if you had the ability to manipulate oxygen molecules and you were trained in how to use it effectively, you would basically be god in my hero academia. <laughs> You'd be able to. I, I, you'd be able to defeat All Might. You'd be able to defeat All for One. You'd be able to defeat Deku, Bakugo, Todoro. You'd be able to beat everyone because yep. you could just snap your fingers and just, no one would be able to breathe because all of the oxygen is running away from them. Can I just yep. say All Might? Can I just say All Might's skinny form kind of looks like a kind of looks like a starving version of Edward Elric. <laughs> it's almost as if that's the entire point. <laughs> That's oh, like Lord. that's like saying the buff All Might looks like Johnny Bravo. That's the point of his character. Buff really All Might is like Buff All Might is the big shot, hot shot Mister Steal Your Wife, and Skinny All Might looks like he's dying because he's dying. Okay, so changing topic. Uh, Wheel is still okay. asked. Anyone like metal music? Well, let me answer you with this. If it starts, I heard a German metal song called. <laughs> oh yeah, Golden does guitar riffs all the time. Yeah, but sound pretty neat. Oh yeah, one. I wanted to like finish my subject on on my thoughts on the White Album. Yeah, like uh, there are some songs that I like, but uh, but majority of the songs I really don't enjoy. In fact, you literally uh, just dragged us back three subjects to talk about this album. <laughs> yeah, because you cut me off. Okay. I didn't cut you off. I ran you through everything you were saying and tried to help you understand that it's not a dark opinion and that you're fine. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Why okay, are you okay, getting okay. upset? I'm trying to help you. <laughs> okay. Okay. As... okay. That's what I was saying. I mean, John Lennon can also vouch. For and, and for my thoughts, because he also hates the song Oladi Olada. Oblady Oblada. Oblady Oblada. That goes on, bruh. That song. Yeah. Like, I heard that I heard that and thought of I'm blue. Yeah, ja okay. Uh, <laughs> this song was written really back in 68. <laughs> He's got a point every, though. It's like he every does it's like, have a point. It's like every time I hear a song that does that da 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 thing, I just think da ba dee da ba die. Every well, <laughs> maybe maybe the Beatles were the uh, were the influence of that because <laughs> that also that, that type of music uh, was written back in 68. <laughs> Also, I after listening to multiple people's interpretations of I'm Blue, I can say with confidence that Dabba Dee Dabba Die can be misconstrued uh, with I can beat off a guy and I believe I can fly. Uh, oh, Bungalow Bill is another song I, I find. <laughs> I love how EG just sidetracks me and it's just like, we're not talking about this. <laughs> Bungalow Any, um, Bill. Okay, I'm going to go... I had to change it going back to the question about the metal music. Uh-huh. Okay, there are some levels of me of metal music I tolerate. I'm not really into it as much as a lot of people do because there are some that take it way too far for me. Well, yeah. Like death but metal I'm, metal. Mo I'm like moderate in that one. It's like a 50-50. Uh-huh. But it usually depends on who's playing. Like, okay, big example of this... I'm gonna probably get a lot of raised eyebrows. There's this one from a Japanese uh, group. They call themselves Baby Metal. Baby, <laughs> that sounds hilarious of a name. Listen to their songs, Golden. You would be surprised. Oh, I'm I'm sure that they would sound really good. Um, 
I can have a quite an open taste with a lot of music. I don't really listen to death metal because all it is is just, you know, constant screaming. I mean, screaming is kind of bound to happen in that particular genre. Um, I like that somebody pointed out that, uh, let's see, Wheel of Steel says my favorite bands are Sum 41, Kiss, Metallica, and Megadeth. Uh, sorry to be that guy, but Sum 41 is punk and Kiss is more like... Hard rock. More yeah. Like glam, yeah, more like glam, glam rock. rock. Yeah. Um, Metallica and Megadeth are definitely the metal ones. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, Metallica is more of a thrash. Okay, it, like thrash, thrash metal, which that's the only type, uh, which that's one of the uh, two metals uh, types of metals that there I like. <laughs> uh, glam metal is another one I like. There you go, Golden. There's yeah. baby metal. <laughs> baby metal, like and, what? Baby screaming. And I'm gonna no. get sh- I'm gonna get shit for this, Watch. but I, I I I'll I'll take a look in a bit. Um. I will also have a guilty pleasure in saying this. I'm one of the. I'm also one of the people who um, who have a, a pleasure in listening to hair metal, not real metal. It's just yeah, hair what? metal like uh, Bon Jovi and, and yeah, um, like White Snake, uh, White Lions, Warrant, Motley Crue. Yeah, Motley Crue and um, Guns N' Roses definitely sound much more. Um, oh. Uh, more rock sounding, whereas bands like uh, like Warren, especially with Cherry Pie, that's very popish. Van Halen uh, also. Oh, uh, oh, speaking of Motley Crue, on the twenty second of March, they're releasing a movie based on their story. It's called Remstein. How many more movies are we gonna get about bands? Okay, first there's Bohemian Rhapsody. <laughs> we have Rocket Man about Elton John. We have a band about Motley Crue. Is there gonna be a and... movie about Boston? No, next year we're getting David Bowie. Oh. Yeah. So yeah, you know what? That actually... and, rumors, and rumors of Journey. You know, I won't be surprised if there's like a brief moment where Ray... Um, what's the name of the actor who played as Freddy in Bohemian Rhapsody? Uh, Ra- uh, Rami Malek? I won't be surprised if Rami Malek makes a cameo appearance as Freddy with David Bowie for Under Pressure. Oh! <laughs> I'd be happy to see that. Under Pressure! I feel like... <laughs> I feel like movie, I feel like they, all the movie studios are like are ha- I, I feel like they had like a secret deal to make like a music cinematic universe. That would sound cool. Um, I still have yet to see Bohemian Rhapsody. I heard some positive things about it. I am one of those people who can be very. I, I've, I've talked about this before, but I can be very stingy when it comes to historical accuracy. Yeah, there are some uh, historical inaccuracies, but it, it it doesn't like bother. But it doesn't like ruin too much of the timeline. Like it doesn't make it like it doesn't ruin it like the band's uh, identity either. Uh, kind of like how uh, they did with the uh, Patch Adams. Yeah, that was not Patch Adams at all. Hmm. Like there were. Yeah, like when it comes to like uh, like biopic films, like there you will expect like like um artistic historical liberties. inaccuracy but as long as it doesn't ruin it, it the care the person who are they actually talking about like like completely destroying their uh, their real history with something else hmm. okay there's I'll a give you there's that. another there's Go another ahead. um there's another uh metal music i listen to it's from this group known as remstein Oh yes, Ramstein. Ramstein. Do- no, uh, let, let me let me answer. Let me uh, give you an example. E.g., do do yes. host do host do host mesh. I know do that song. Do host Do host mesh. How about this one? How about this? Okay, go ahead, Jesse. How about this one? We all live in America. America is wonderful. <laughs> you gotta have that, that rumbling R. We're either that or from tri- or from or from triple X. Fire, fry, bang, 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 bang. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. I can't roll my R's. It makes me sad. Well, I can. I actually well, had to learn how to do that a long time ago. Got any Mexican or Russian to uh, roll your R's? Oh how God, Dragon Force. Okay. Hey, does, it, Neon, does anyone know how old Wheel Man is? German rock. Why are you dissing the German rock? German rock is good, man. I like German rock. It's good. I do too. That's actually one of my favorite bands. They're hardcore. I literally would head headbang their music. I literally would. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Um, um, go for it. <laughs> I just love the way it sounds. It's so cool. I just love how uh, my favorite part. Like I want. I heard their version in a like live 
performance with this song and hearing the the audience in the background singing it is like oh that's beautiful i love it <laughs> um, i hope you yeah. don't mind me playing this this will probably make you cringe or probably make you go yeah yes oh i know that one the and fire morpheus, and shut up through the fire and the flames we carry on and morpheus shut up that's, I, I'm not going to lie, when it comes to Dragon Force, like, a lot of their music is fun to listen to, but you also notice they, they all have the same formula. Long verse, long bridge, long chorus. Long verse, long bridge, long chorus. Three-minute guitar solo, long bridge, long chorus. Speaking of bridges and choruses and solos and things, um, I don't know if I told you guys about this, but I was watching someone do a live stream about memes. Only was a recording of a part of a live stream, not so much a live stream, because it, you know what I mean. And... They got to this meme video that was taking a clip out of an Australian song. And to summarize the Australian song, it was talking about all these deadly Australian creatures that could kill you very quickly and very efficiently. And like at some point, it breaks away from talking about all of the animals with, with fucking this one-eyed Australian guy who just got his i taken out by a bird and he says but at least we don't have ar-15s what? in a really cheerful tone now if you don't understand the reference um shootings uh. the joke is about americans and shooting the the ar-15 rifle wow. american rifle gun yeah that's the joke wow <laughs> sorry also, i just did you guys saw what morpheus said what did he say? Yes, yellow submarine. I saw it. We all live in a yellow submarine. Yellow, yellow submarine, submarine. Yellow go to dance. Yellow Jesse go to dance. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. Hey Jesse. Oh. Joel? Um, fuck. Hey Jesse. Oh. Hey hey E.G. Go to dance. <laughs> go to dance. <laughs> I caught him. I knew he was going <laughs> to say <laughs> that. Fucking <laughs> <why I said, laughs> <laughs> go oh, to hey, dance. Go. Is like go to Dan's is to Jesse what fucking the gnome is to Minilab. Also, if you don't know what gnome is, Google it. Gnome? Because I, okay, gnome is, you know, Rick Rolling. Rick G Rolling, I'm familiar oh, with yeah. the name. Yes. Okay, well, Rick Ro Rick Rolling is both synonymous with a specific video, and it's also in reference to pranking someone. Oh, you with a the, link. Um... Yeah, with a link to a specific piece of media for Never a gonna meme. Never gonna give you up. Yes. Never gonna let you down. Yeah. yeah. That song, I know that I, song. Yes. It's like, it's both synonymous with the song and the act of rickrolling someone, which is to trick them into going into a link that has a meme in it. And the gnome thing is a video of a CGI animated gnome saying i'm not a gnelf i'm not a gnoblin i'm a gnome and you've been gnomed and it's weird <laughs> and dumb and during Maybe? mini lad during mini lads meme live streams people kept sending him that video using media share and it's really really annoying they send him that all the time as well as videos of this guy called ricardo i'm not going to tell you what he's doing but yeah ricardo Okay. Um, yeah, the gnome thing is basically a discount Rick Roll meme. Thank you, Neon Blair, for uh, bringing this up. Yeah. <laughs> Alexa, what? play Sands. Well, Susie was actually. She was like, play Sandstorm. How does it go again? <laughs> I know that song. Yeah. Yeah, Drew Sandstorm. Hold on. Yeah, what's up? Speaking of other biopic films, uh, okay, like, hey, you gotta go back to 2015. Uh, there is another good biopic film about the Beach Boys that uh, that was that was talking about Brian Wilson's life and the time when they were working on uh, the um, it possibly the uh, yeah it, they were working on the. Uh, I'm putting the this smile. in the stream just in case people don't know what Drew Sandstorm is. The Smile album. Yeah, the, that, the movie was about them working on the Smile album until they canceled it due to uh, Brian Wilson's um, his like mental struggles and his use of drugs. All right. No surprise um, there. Yeah, I know you mentioned that before. 
Good mm-hmm. Lord, we've been on... Um, I've been streaming for quite a while. I think it's best that I uh, come to a closure with this. So, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, so Crack thank you up. guys. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and call this a day. Thank you guys for joining in. Um, uh, tune in next Friday when I start my first big game, or I would call it a big game. But, <clears throat> sorry about that. I'm trying to catch myself. Uh, join yeah. me next uh, Friday as I join in uh, my first big game of this year, Pokemon Yellow. Yay! Yay! So yeah, oh, you, to, you want me to join to do Pikachu's voice for fun? <laughs> <laughs> you want me to quote? You want me to quote some me, some Pokemon memes? Yes. A lot of Pokemans and Pikachu's and, and Poke- Poke- all that shit. Pokemon, Poke- Poke- the place where the guy comes out <laughs> of the thing, got him all life. <laughs> I know where that came from. Anyways, I'll be catching you guys later. See ya.